let's use it first on this nerd room so there you have some symbols right and kick let's turn on the gate let's experiment with open and close let's have on only the snare drum sound right before okay we have more snare there let's use uh, the rest of this plugin on the drum bus let's use the transient shaper to add more punch be careful with the output that's the transient the impact that it's adding it's increasing the, the, the impact Yeah, it's easy to overdo it. Let's use the low frequencies and high frequency enhancer. Some low harmonics. high frequency harmonics some sizzle in the overheads and cymbals and the compressor you introduce compression with this more punch right it's a narrow band compression dry wet let's use before A pretty complete channel strip for drums mostly so first you have a gate you can close or open the gate here and pretty cool that it shows here you're gonna see the signal coming in and you choose where to close and open the gate it could be very useful for snares sometimes the snare microphone it's having all of the bleed from other uh, parts of the drum kit sometimes the kick drum the cymbals the hi-hat so with this we can control that you turn it off or turn it on here you can you have a hold for more control over the tail when the the gate opens again the attack and release fast attack to the left less fast uh, attack to the right then the release also faster release and slower release then you have the transient shaper that will introduce uh, a lot of punch to the initial uh, spike initial impact of the of the drum transients right it can add a ton of punch and you would need a limiter or clipper just to prevent some peaks jumping all over the place be careful with the transient shaper because it really can 
put the compressors out of control because of too many attack of the of the transients so you select the amount of attack or transient and the speed this is the release like uh, faster release time slower release time and you have also a gain to compensate you can listen only what this processor is doing and this will invert will make a uh, less aggressive transient shaper by clicking on invert then we move on to the eq section with a low frequency enhancer and high frequency enhancer that adds low and high uh, harmonics based on the ssl console the 4000 e you add harmonics by using the amount knob and you also select the drive and the frequencies where you want to add more harmonics it adds second and third order harmonics and finally a uh, compressor it's called listen mic compressor also based on that console and you can use the compressor in a uh, narrow band so it doesn't compresses the whole part of the of the frequency spectrum it narrows to a uh, mid-range band the compression so you add compression with this comp you make up for the gain that you can uh, lose with the compression and the dry wet functionality and a master dry wet and output control here you can also switch the order of how these uh, processors are following like gate first the transient shaper the high frequency or low frequency first and uh, compressor at the end this is the order that it's by default and i found it to be uh, useful it includes some some presets also for different uh, applications